Damanjit has requested for pins. Pin okay. interest. Okay, we will go with the pins. Okay, pins interest. Let's see what's happening here. Dividend and after the dividend, there is a selling pressure here. Before the earnings, I think this was a gap up opening due to the earnings, and then another day a gap up, a high of fifty eight, and now it's okay. This was a gap up on the first day, a huge gap up opening, and then other day there's a gap down opening, and the stock fell down, so it's not coming back to its original levels. So see when it did when it did the gap up last time, gap up. And then consolidate gap up consolidate for a little time then went up so this is a trend here so i have like parabolic sar applied here so as for the parabolic sar it is it has not yet generated any signal okay yeah it is still below the dot is below the candle and still it's saying buying it is uh, not giving a correct picture right now because there is no defined trend this is like zigzag zigzag movement in the stock in the share price so we don't use parabolic star in these conditions because for this to happen you need to have a pattern you need to have actually a trend either uptrend or downtrend only then you can use parabolic star so i have to remove that we won't be using parabolic star otherwise we'll give you a false alarms okay so going uh, gap up opening then gap down gap down and it might come back again to its own level of 52 or uh, then because it has opened a gap, so it will cover that gap. So I'm expecting it to somewhere around this level very soon. And this level consolidation a little bit, and this will act as a support for this. This level will be supported. But if this is broken, the next level is this one. So first level, if you're holding this stock, I think you should sell this before it falls back to 52. And after this, they will do a little bit consolidation. And consolidate after consolidation, you need to see where it is giving a breakout upside or downside. The same pattern was observed previously as well. If I show you here, this one, this channel, look at this. There was a consolidation, and after the consolidation, there was a gap up, consolidation again, gap up. But this at this time, there is no consolidation, it is falling back again. So it will fall back again, maybe it consolidate again at this level. So again, if you look at this point from here to here, it was range bound situation, gap up again. And after the gap up, again in the consolidation level. When it broke this level again up and little bit zigzag movements, but on the overall position, it went up. So if we draw an, a, a trend line here, it seems to be somewhere around this level. So it will fall back again in its own channel again. Since it's in an uptrend, so it might follow the same trend over the couple of next sessions. Uh, previous trend was something like that. Then previously it moved in this trend and after the gap up, it changed its direction, changed the trend and started moving up. So there is again now a gap up, change its trends. Now again, expect it to fall back again its original trend, original direction. So 52 is like very close for this stock. And plus there is was like obvious an earning impact. Before the earning, people were expecting that it might go up like it did in the previous earning as well. There was a gap of opening yeah. in this earning. And after that, it consolidated. But at this point of time, the difference is that it's not consolidating. It's falling back drastically, like a high of 69.2 to a low of 57.9. So 69 to 57 around like around like yeah. 11 yeah. 11 dollars in two days so it, it is like a little bit around you can say 17 18 percent of this stock price has fallen down in two days so it will be back again to its previous channel either 52 or somewhere between 52 and 48 okay thanks sir. Okay. Yeah, welcome. So I think we can move on to the next one for Tesla. I will show you Tesla, how it has behaved. It has become very interesting now. Tesla, I have a graph here for Tesla. I hope it is just clear. See how the Tesla is behaving. I will remove this line. This was from the previous days. Okay, so Tesla, the target price remains intact, which is 445 to 450. And now this Tesla has gone down broken its support levels this was the original support level which we were expecting 
it has gone down now it has been broken the next support level is down this one 388 and the third one is expected to be this one okay and then this level these are the levels for this so i think the uh, good buying price will be around 3 350 let's see what is the fib ratio saying fib retracement as for the fib retracement let's look at the level 336 and we are saying around 350 so this level can if i remove these red lines this will be more clear for you yeah now look at the levels it has broken its level of 407 and after that it's now coming back again so it might seek a little bit support at 360s but if it breaks this level the next is 330s so these these are the important levels to watch for this stock 360 if it is staying in 360 and not breaking it so this can be a good entry point but buy in depths don't buy like if you are planning to buy like 10 stocks or like five shares of of tesla don't buy all five or ten at this price so buy i would say one share between 350 to 360 and the next one from 350 to 330 and the other one at 300 if it goes to that level at least what you should do you should buy like 20 percent or like max 30 percent of your target of your budget like if you're planning to buy four shares buy like one share at 350 to 360 the other one 330 to 350 and the other two you can buy below 330 or around 300 level this this level 285 the other two shares if it goes that low but i'm not sure if it is going to hit that level but 350 is very close so 350 uh, from 350 to 364 you can start buying this accumulate start accumulating this stock or slowly slowly on depths so that can be that can be a good strategy for this for this stock and then once this election impact is finished uh, things come back to normal your target is 450 so if you're buying something at 350 and selling at 450 and 100 dollar 100 dollar on just an investment of 350 which is like around 28 to 30 percent so that can be a good investment over a period of i would say a month or a period of month 20 to 30 percent you can earn from this stock because it has uh, drastically fallen down so wait for this but don't don't be greedy that if you fetch everything invested like 50 percent of your portfolio in tesla and bought it at some level of 350 and then you see your oh, stock has gone down even below 285 now i mean huge losses so don't do that only like 20 percent of your total portfolio or max like 30 percent of your portfolio should be in in tesla not not more than that and that too in depths so that will give you a good average and then you can sell them all around 440 to 450. that should be a strategy in in tesla what do you say Kamal, on that yeah, I'm also looking at buy levels of 360 and if it goes down further 336, so which is very much close to what you mentioned. And yeah. as you mentioned that um, buying in small quantities initially and then uh, if it continues down further, adding it more would be a better strategy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that, that's good any questions guys here anything you want to understand or price movement or anything you get on tesla or we shall move to the next one yeah just one more point which i yep. mentioned in the previous session as well that um, for new buys it would be better to enter after the election date as tomorrow and day tomorrow, after yeah. so two days you could expect huge volatility it might go up and then come oh, down again down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so volatility is there but newcomers if you, they don't want to take risks so just hold on if the stock becomes stable and then you start entering yeah that's what okay we will move to shopify okay shopify tsx so this is also another good stock to watch so shopify here made a high of 1460 and 1500, 1500 previously which is like its resistance level so we will say 1460 is the resistance level for shopify and for last two three days it is falling down drastically uh, due to its earnings and coupled with the election days so if you see in two days from 1406 to 1228 so around like 220 which is a huge thing 
so it is falling down and coming back to its support level of 1200 of that 1200 level is broken so it is it has a little support at 1175 as well uh, at this level this is one of the support level okay so i will remove this okay i will remove this one from here okay, 1173 and then the next level 1128 and then the third level is 1093 at 61 percent replacement level so expected buying for this stock shall be around this level of 1093 around 1100 i would say so because the, this level of 1173 it might not hold for a long time and it may it may break so the previously i will just remove this one uh, for, for a good view oh, okay and then if you look at this candle this candle made a low at 1107 last time so i'm expecting somewhat similar to this 1107 and our uh the support is 1093 and one more thing guys when we see the support is 1093 it doesn't mean that it will exactly taught uh, exactly touch 1093 it will be within the range similar to this candle like this candle was 1107 and the support was as 1093 so we we can safely say that the stock has taken a support at this level of 1093 or 61.8 percent replacement level because this was like very i mean very close to those to those levels the similar thing we are expecting this time as well so once this uh, once stocks falls down so somewhere around uh, on a closing basis you can say 1100 to 1130 so somewhere here 11 because for this stock the price movement is like a huge it has like a good range so the range average range of this stock is like i would say from 1400 from 30 40 dollars it moves and on, on any particular day a normal day 30 dollars is fine for this stock so 1100 to 11 20 25 30 can be a good idea to buy one share of this stock i would say again like 25 percent of your budgeted quantity and then if it breaks down breaks further down so you can end buy another stock around around 1000 so that that, that should be a strategy small quantities at each dip the first buying quantity should be if you are willing to take risk and you if you really want to take risk then first quantity you can buy around 1180 but for the newcomer it's not recommended 1180 and 1180 first quantity second quantity 1130 and third third one should be around 1000 or like you can say the, these levels yeah somewhere around 1050 to 950. So this would be your third and fourth quantity. The first one will be again, first quantity around 1180, this levels, second quantity around 11, uh, 1000 to 1120, third quantity should can be at this level 1050, and the fourth quantity can be at the level of 950. So this can be, this will give you a good average around of around maybe like 1070 yeah this can be our max 1100 will be the average quantity for these four and then the selling price will be 1450 so that can be a strategy for shopify what do you say come on that yeah i feel the levels you have suggested is quite logical for those who are using uh, shopify for day trading or short term trading could also follow the trend the levels which I believe uh, Tahir has said is for those who are holding, planning to hold it for longer terms. Yep. So uh, let me quickly see the RSI. RSI I've already plotted. I will just check what RSI says at this point of time. RSI. Sorry, uh, it's not showing me the. So I would say area. at whatever price you buy, you can have an estimated profit of 20 200 dollars at least in one trade with shopify yeah one stock will can give you like 200 yeah easily but keep in mind that your selling price will not be beyond 1450 so that is important to note okay there's some glitch here i'm not able to see the rsi but that's fine we have uh, discussed the levels and i think we can move on to the next stock yep are we good to go is there any any stock guys you want to discuss about we will take like three more stocks max or then we will 
finish this session because this was expected to be a shorter session of one hour. We are already done within an hour and we'll take like five, 10 minutes more to wrap it up. Yes, guys, if there's no suggestion, then Kamal, you can pick anything that group members have requested. Yeah, Vivek Krishna is requesting for WN. WN, Western chart, TSX. Okay, WN is falling down. This is now going towards its next support level of 91.99, which is like, yeah, 91.92. So now at 92, it can take a support. It's near to its support level, like it did previously here on this date of 2nd of September. Now it's back again to the same levels. So wait for, I think, one more day and see if it actually takes support from this level and it doesn't fall beyond. So if it falls beyond this level, then you have to, you know, uh, wait further more for the stock to take a next support level at the level of 85. Otherwise, this level, these levels can be a good level. So 85 can be, can be a next good level if it breaks this resistance, but currently for the time being, yep, uh, wait for this stock to take a support at 92 and forms one green candle above that, you can plan your trade. You can enter in that for a long position. Uh, but given the current volatility, you, can, you, you can't be too sure that uh, it will take support at this level. So you have to take, you know, a, conf a confirmation for one day that on the next day, like here, the next day there's a big green candle because it has taken a support at this level. It, it seems to be like psychological support and then it's it stayed around the same levels for a couple of time before it moved further up. So at this point of time, we can expect the same move, but we can't expect this gap up and a huge green candle during these election days. So you have to wait till it touches this ground and then makes a green candle. And then you can enter in this stock and then the levels can be, the target can be 99. Earning date is near $2. Okay. Previous earning was lost and then even the loss it gave a dividend okay 17 november okay elections effect will like be cooling down earnings so this it can go up on these earnings because even uh, in the losses it gave a dividend and here also it gave a dividend 0.5 same dividend uh, but a positive it had a positive eps profit and dividend loss of dividend and then the profit and then again the dividend will come so what is happening on the dividend date so before the dividend three four days before the dividend it was like a spike and here the dividend and uh, nothing much before that okay so in a nutshell wait for nine level of 92 and then your target will be 99 but enter only if it has given a green signal has formed a green candle above that that can be your entry point otherwise uh, we have to wait yep okay can we take another stock cool. Chetan has a mm -hmm. basic question, how to identify resistance level and buy price, which indicators or patterns we should use for analysis. I think we have had sessions based on that. Maybe we can share the link of the sessions where Tahir had explained how to use candlesticks. And also VXR had shared on how some of the indicators can help to identify uptrend or downtrend for now maybe tired would you like to uh, yeah i will just quickly uh, yeah. i'll quickly uh, tell you support and resistance but for the detail you can go and check the original videos for second or third first video from, on our channel that is based on support and resistance you watch video number one and two okay but quickly i will tell you the support is the line which uh, doesn't allow or the stock price to fall below that level and and it acts as a support so in order to draw that you have to make sure that it touches at least two or three points on that on that line for example if i talk about this one so it is touching about one two three these three level three four these four candles and this is acting as a support and for the resistance as well uh, resistance is opposite it acts as a ceiling beyond which the price is not able to go and uh, the stock has already touched like three, four times. It has been tested. And at least two, in order to draw a line, two candles should match at least. So that's how you draw support and resistances. And for the indicators, you can use RSI, you can use MACD, you can use Fibonacci retracement, Parapolic SAR, and you can check on the volumes as well. 
the candle patterns, you can see how the candle patterns are being formed, whether this is like a doji candle or it's marubazu candle or like pin candle or something else. You can check those in our candlestick pattern analysis as well. And then for the chart patterns, we haven't discussed any chart pattern yet. So very soon we will introduce the different chart patterns like head and shoulders, like flag, flag and pole patterns, cup and handle, and there are a few other patterns we which we want to discuss in future. So for the time being, you can watch the videos which are like initial for, uh, video, video one and two, Kamal will be sharing with you the link for that. So you can go and check. And if still do you have some question, you can ask us in, in the group. Yep. So, okay. So we'll take uh, one more talk, which will be the last one. And then we will call it a day. And then if anyone has a question, they can ask on, on the group chat. Yes, the, most, the last one for today. Shall we take ABS? KBS. ABX. Oh, ABX, okay. ABX, very cold. Very gold. Uh, we have been discussing this many times during our sessions. Okay, the very gold currently it, it has it is facing a little bit of resistance at 35.64. So it took a support at the level of 34 around this level, and we have identified a level of th uh, 34.7. And it actually, yeah, it actually did it took support at this level, and now it is at 35. Point six which is acting as a resistance if this resistance is broken so that you can expect a short term target of 37 a very short term here and then the next one is 38 so like it will have a resistance after like each two dollar and then the next one is around 40. so ultimate target for abx is 40 if the conditions in the market remains remains good if we quickly go and check commodity prices and see where the current gold price is right now so gold is 1878 so it has like fallen down from 1900 plus and it is like below 1900 these days so if it goes well if economy performs good and gold prices are like rising in the international market then you can expect this stock to go towards 40. Otherwise, it, it will be trading between one or two dollars. Let's say 35 is broken, then 37. So this 37, then 38. So it will be 37 to 38 movement within this. And it, if at, at any point in time, the world market, keep an eye on the world market, on the commodity prices of the gold, if they are doing well. So the ultimate target for this stock is, is 40. And we have been saying this for a, a very long time. So it, it is a stock to buy a hold for a little long term, not for just a day trade. Because in the day trade, you won't find any, uh, you, you won't find it much attractive. But these prices are the good buying prices for this stock. So hold it for a longer term if you want for 40, or if you want to just get rid of this uh, quickly, so 37 can be uh, initial selling point here. And earnings, uh, earnings are positive. And last time earnings was positive with a dividend. And I think it was uh, around 40% payout. And then again, the earnings are near. What happened the last earning date? Stock fell down actually. Here stock gave a gap down opening. Gap down, dividend and earnings. It is already it is already at the lower levels. Before it was at like if you can see it, it was at the highest levels. Now stock is already at the low level at near support. So that and has actually taken this support and earning is on fifth of November. Maybe yeah, during the coming sessions. Like during the coming week. A day in the coming week it will have earnings. So it will be moving roughly around uh, the same the same levels. point uh, two eight. And then this is this earning is like around double than the previous earnings, like ninety percent of the previous previous one. So it will be you can see this stock expectedly go up as uh, compared to the previous one, which was stock was falling down because it was like at uh, highest levels of those times, and this time it is near its support. Previously, the difference was there was no support at this time, and this was at its fifty-two week high prices apparently, and right now it is at much it is at a level which is like uh, which is acting as a support level this support acts as actually a psychological support for the investors 
and they perceive that this level can sustain stock can sustain this level previously like this was at the highest levels people expect okay it has already made its stop it's already at high level so it might not go beyond so that results in these sort of gap towns or something like that so but at this point i would say like this is at the this price is a reasonable price to enter for a long term position of forty. Yep. Any questions here, guys? Okay. Then I think uh, uh, we will be ending our session now. And if anyone has questions, they can ask us on on the group chat, and we will be happy to answer that. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Kamal, do you have anything to share, or we will just switch it up? I might be able to join some of the sessions. Might not be available for some of the sessions. No problem. No problem. So we will, we will take care. No issues. Thanks all for joining. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you very much for joining, and we would like to see you again very soon on the next week. Okay. Sure. Thanks, Sahir. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Take bye care. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Sahir. Thanks, everyone.